Welcome back everyone, I'm Seth Roth, and today we're going to be playing a little bit more with the StarCraft II Commander Stukov. I thought today we would focus on Infested Terran and any strategies that are tied into just going all infantry. Stukov is a very unique commander for this approach because he literally grows them for free, which is fantastic. And uh, we're going to be trying this out on Chain of Ascension on Brutal Difficulty. And uh, let's see who our, uh, who our compadre is going to be for this fight. Alright, Stukov is a really interesting commander because half the time you feel like you're not... He requires a lot less micro, particularly if you've built up your, your supply of infantry sufficiently. Uh, so it can be a really change, a real change of pace from other commanders where you've got your group of six to twelve uber-powered characters that you're micromanaging to win. Uh, with Stukov, half the time I'm just hitting a rally point and then releasing the horde. Uh, but hopefully this will work out. Chain of Ascension is a really good level for Stukov's abilities, and we've got Swan backing us up which will be a lot of defensive possibilities, which is great, because in this level it's pretty obvious they only have like three ways to come at you, so it's pretty easy to defend against, uh, assuming you ration your resources appropriately. Alright, let's get started. For an infantry run, we're going to be focusing on crystal. Lots and lots of crystal. control of the Tal'Darine by climbing the chain of ascension. As first ascendant, I will exterminate these traitors. Both of your armies must stand with me to provide their psionic support. Sorry, I stole a bit of her thunder there. Right. Overlord's ready, and... More minions. There we go. We need more minerals. Alright, if you max out that economy early enough, and then our first upgrade that we're saving up for is the Evolve Infestation. So our eight freebies will jump up to 16. And when you get that up to level 4, I believe the highest that it will get to is a glorious 64 free infantry creatures every like a minute and a half. So that's going to be half of our strategy. And the other half will be Infested Terran. Which is that barracks. Lots and lots of barracks. Alright, we are just about tapped out, or maxed out in our crystals. Er... 20 seconds was a minute away from our first oh craptums uh, infested structures which are also helpful all right we're gonna get up some Vespi now because getting some uh, troop upgrades in the near future will help us out a lot in the long run and there's our first major upgrade for our infantry units if I remember right, they do have an early push toward Janara, so we're going to put our side meta right there and uh, keep a stockpile of resources. The nice thing about these barracks is they stock up just like Zerg units do, so I've got 15 of these units stocked up, and as long as I have enough crystal to back it up, I can mass produce those troops uh, if things go bad. And given that this is brutal difficulty, <laughs> Things have a tendency to go bad. All right, we're going to get two engineering bays so that we can pull out those infantry upgrades quickly. Oh, there's our first batch of freebies. Enemy supplicants are and there's our first wave. All right, so group two is going to be our infested barracks. And we're going to send about ten of those. Should be sufficient. Uh, no, we're just going to max it out. Oh, geez, that's a lot of vultures. And we have more troops coming this way, so this should be interesting. Uh, okay, lots of vultures, but I have lots of infantry, so let's see how this how we handle this first wave. I've got a apocalypse backed up if we get in trouble, and this would oh no, the swan's got it. Perfect. Activating laser drill, 174 gigawatts. Alright, let's get two more barracks up. That'll put us up to at that point we'll be able to do 80 infantry. At the drop of a dime, and let's get some. Make sure our our auto-produced civilians are capable of jumping. All right, he's pushing, so I think we're going to go ahead and contribute as well. <laughs> Nothing says I'm doing my part like oh holy crap, and I have an apocalypse. Oh crap! I 
forgot about you. Alright, well, I think our apocalypse could handle that. And why don't we go ahead and send in our first wave, the second wave of infantry. But the, the tricky part with infantry is you really gotta watch your uh, population. Because when you can mass produce so quickly, you tend to forget that you need more overlords and so on and so forth. And let's get some infested out here to back us up. Uh, I should do it. Apocalypse is half dead. I think we're doing just fine. Oh, we timed out. Oh, but I've got more toys. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go, go. Alright, so we're going to do one more batch of infested. And the rest of my guys should finish them off. Alright. Now we've got four barracks up. We can pop out 55 units on the dime, but first we need to make sure we have enough overlords to handle that. Uh, let's go ahead and get the second batch for infested colonists. That'll bring us up to 32 freebies every 90 minutes. And... Of course, gotta get that expansion. Oh, hello. You don't look friendly. Uh, oh, come on. I... Wow, they brought out cloak and stuff a lot quicker than I anticipated. Okay. We're gonna have to tech up. Anything else? Uh, okay. All right, we're gonna get a few extra workers because we gotta start getting this expansion going uh, soon, ish. I'm in. Uh, oh come on! Give me a little bit more vision, just a little more. No. Ah. All right. Let's get another wave down there. Not enough minerals. Oop. There we go. Now we're swarming them. And I've got a worker down here that's ready to build up once we're safe. Let's get some detectors up, just so that I can't fall for this again. And another overlord. The enemy is sending forces to support their champion. Match their strengths. I believe the enemy reaches Come on, just a little more defense. crystal. Our forces are under attack. And oh, come on. There we go. All right, expansion on the way. Oh, and our buddy is going to be in trouble soon. So let's get some friends over here. can get three more down combat. here for farming. And let's get some more infantry out. More These lumbering elementals have always irritated some infantry, me. right? Or is that all ground troops? I hope it's all ground troops. Oh no, I got some shooters in there. Perfect. Alright, figure that finish them off and get back down to help out Jinara. She's probably the most like abrasive of the people that I work with on the different missions, right? Most of them are like helpful or grateful or at least say thank you. <laughs> this one's like, hey, I owe you, back me up. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get up to the infested starport because we need some mobile detectors up soon. While we're on that subject, we should really get at least one missile turret up here in case they come at us with more banshees or wraiths. All right, ready to see the hailing moment. <laughs> the nice thing about Stukov in this is that he can root all of his unit producing structures. So I can literally uproot all of my best stuff, move it down here. But you do have to have vision. There we go. All right, what we got going on now? We are releasing the swarm. And, oh, right, my guys are rooting. <laughs> yeah, I love the little, little short stubby legs. Wow, wow, wow. They're like professional waddlers. Oh. Alright, so we're definitely going to want to start with an apocalypse, and let's 
give them some extra infesting to deal with. Make sure our beacon is set for inside the structure. Okay, now you should be rooting. Why aren't you rooting? Come on, root for the home team. Ah, there we go. Alright, now we can see I had 1700 crystal and 800 of it is gone, but look how quick. Just boom. <laughs> Release the swarm. Ah, beautiful. Alright, we're going to bring our troops back down to support our leader. What else we got here? Um, upgrades. I'll go ahead and get some bunker upgrades. I don't plan on using them right now because that's not really the point of this example. Uh, I was mostly focused on just getting uh, as much infantry usage as I could. I'm not really worried about the gas expansions at this point. Um, when you go and you notice I've already got a ton of extra Vespine that I really didn't need. But we should make sure that we've got some detectors up around our producing structures, because losing those would, would be very, very sad. There we go. Alright, so we got tons of crystal. Let's go ahead and top off our supply. And we'll get up a fifth barracks. So that should get me up to the point where I can flip a switch and create over a hundred infantry units instantly. It's going to be beautiful. And let's uh, go ahead and do some more infestations. That'll ruin their day. <sighs> that's good. Oh, let's see. So we've got trouble coming. And they're going to be coming up this way. So let's get some more infantry going. I'm going to need detectors, and I'm going to need troops. Our allies are in combat. Okay, hopefully they're not. If they're, if they're air, we've got Alexander. So, oh yeah, this should be all right. Let's make sure my detectors stay behind in case those wraiths try to do any cute. Ah, uh, see, this is nice when you're up against siege tanks because I upgraded my ground, my civilians, the ones that you get for free. I upgraded them so that they could jump. Oh wait, wait, who's the new can? Who's nuking? Oh geez, he's getting... Okay, so if we've got nukes to deal with, then we're definitely going to want detectors, and I'm going to go ahead and put up one bunker at my entrance, just so that if a ghost shows up, he's got worse things to deal with. Um, hmm. That is more of a problem. I do not like the idea of uh, ghosts being able to nuke all of my main producing structures at once. So, let's see. Well, we've got detectors around them. I guess we could sprinkle in a couple of uh, barracks. You see what I mean about the, the infested? Because I'm just pointing the river towards the target. And then I can come back and focus on my defenses and trying to keep things afloat. So, I am going to make some bunkers because we need to be able to vaporize ghosts that are trying to take us out. We but we will do the best we can. Alright, so let's go ahead and top off the last of our supply. Our are and here we go. Nice airships. I think I'll take that second. And we'll throw in the pockets. Why not? Come on, boys. Oh, somebody died. <laughs> Oh, that was uh, Swan's big laser cannon going nuts. Cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and just drop in a huge batch. Right there. Yeah, 800 crystal worth of infantry. That ought to do something. I love how you can just watch the mini-map and be like, yep, there they go. It's beautiful. All right, now let's see. So we got some bunkers going just in case they try and sneak some ghosts by. They should get vaporized. Uh, let's see. You know, just to make sure our detection options are up, we'll put in another turret here and another bunker. And we're just using the bunkers as kind of like stationary defenses, not really using them offensively. I think I'll save that for another video. Because the primary goal here was just showing you guys what you can do 
with a crap ton. I mean, this is only five, but look at this. I've got 83, 84, 84 infested marines waiting, and they're only 25 crystal apiece. So when we're made, ready to make that last One big push, seems to have been encased in the it's just going to be floor it and mass 3D printing die. troops. It'll be great. Well, one disadvantage that we are dealing with right now is that my compadre is not over here with Zanara, and I need him here in order. Oh, hello. That looks like anti. That looks like uh, someone that's cloaked. If only I had a detector. <laughs> oh, wait. I do. You are dead, sir. There we go. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Swans. Looks like he's heading off there. Uh, oh, trying to. That actually looks not good. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, print off about a thousand crystal worth of troops that hatch in under 30 seconds and then uh, we'll send the rest up here to deal with them. I'm missing something here. Oh, infested armory. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get that done. And then we'll get the last upgrade and that will be civilians galore. Might as well save up a little bit. Uh, okay. We're not going to focus so much on these special units for now, because I wanted you guys to see what you could do with Stukov just by going basic. I know that sounds a little weird, but sometimes, especially on Brutal Difficulty, you get overwhelmed. There's just so much to keep track of and so much to do that it can be refreshing to get to grab a commander that doesn't need a lot of micro in order to track who's doing what and why, you know? There are some commanders that are very good if you can do that kind of micro, and some days I feel like it, but today is not one of those days. It's a lazy Saturday. I want to be able to just blow the crap out of stuff and uh, not have to worry about the rest of it. Oh, just look at all those undead. Oh, it's beautiful. Sorry, infested. I, I have, uh, I've always wanted to play a necromancer in D&D, uh, &D, but it's never really, it's never really worked out. Sad but true. There's always a cleric or a paladin with a conscience that doesn't like the idea of you animating leftovers of your enemies. Even though, you know, they're leftovers of your enemies who are trying to kill you. But, yeah, it's made up. It's mod. Alright, and now, there we go. Alright, so the last upgrade has commenced. Now we're going to be getting 64 free troops instead of the 32. And in a pinch, we can just pull the ripcord and those infested barracks will pour out. So if you're playing Stukov and you really want your fellow commander to owe you one and really like playing with you, one option that you can do is because if you go full infested, you don't need that much Vespian. No, I've got 4,000 saved up that I haven't used. So one thing that I've seen some players do is they just give one of their Vespians, like I could go to my expansion and just give that gas over to my compadre over here. And uh, usually when you do that, they're very grateful, and uh, they become your best friends. So that, that uh, it, both you make friends, and uh, it makes your troops stronger, because then they don't have to worry about every, about uh, best being nearly as much. And you can still, you know, hit a button and create 30, 40, 50. All right, that's 60 infested that I just created in about 30 seconds. And just for good measure, let's drop an apocalypse in there. It's gonna be glorious. <sighs> Doesn't de isn't delegation great? Oh wait, we've got some trouble here. Okay, let's see where they're headed. See, I've still got. I like to save up infested structures because generally, when you get stabbed in the back by bad guys, they go for your structures. And he doesn't have any defenses set up, so this will be interesting. Let's see what we're up against here. I mean, we're kind of going for the win anyway, so we might be all right. And he's got some area of effect. Okay, yeah, he's fine. That's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish off the rest of them. Oh, yeah, they've got a little group down here they got to finish. Yeah, looks like I'm the only one left. Oh, no, no, Swan's got some troops in there. So last will just be to guide Jannar in for the end. The end cinematic. I think we've got all of the major upgrades. I didn't really get into bunkers, but we're going to do that on a different video. Eh, might as well. It's the end of the end of the game. Might as well spend a little bit more. And while we're on that subject, 
Mass spending. Cool. All right, so that is one of the most... I like commanders that have a good fallback that can let you focus on just one thing, but you're still really effective in combat. And Stukov with just bar barracks can do that very effectively. So if you're ever if you're ever you want to try a commander, but particularly in a mission that you're not accustomed with or something, um, that tactic is pretty effective. Uh, if, if they're doing stuff that has a lot of area of effect, it might be able to cook through them quickly. Um, but nine times out of ten, that strategy works really well. So I want to thank you guys for walking through Chain of Ascension with me. This was a lot of fun. And uh, stay tuned for more examples of Stukov op awesomeness. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed my content. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye.